unfaithful doctor abandoned wife and young son in misery. Years later, in his lowest moment, he returned to find them, but received a terrible punishment. It all started when Mariana, at 22 years old, and Peter, 24, were introduced by friends at college and got a mutual interest in each other. Mariana studied pharmacy, and Peter was in med school. Both were very dedicated students and had big plans for the future. They began to get to know each other more every day and soon began a serious relationship. As Mariana graduated first, she found a job quickly and started helping pay for her boyfriend's tuition, who didn't have time to work due to his busy schedule. The boy was very grateful and always remembered that one day he would reward her for all that effort. Peter had a friend, his classmate Will, whom he considered a brother. Will ended up becoming good friends with the couple, but no one would imagine what fate had in store for them. After he started working as a doctor, Peter proposed to Mariana, and the two were married in a beautiful and romantic ceremony. As a wedding gift, her husband bought a mansion with everything, a gourmet area, several bedrooms, and a huge pool that took anyone's breath away. The young woman loved the house, but she worried about the maintenance of that huge place. Peter said that the two deserved the best, and so they moved in. The young man, now at 30 years old, had become a successful surgeon. He won many titles and honors, and was eventually hired to work in one of the best hospitals in the city. It didn't take long for Mariana to get pregnant, and the two celebrated the beginning of their new family. Peter said that his beloved wife and son would want for nothing, but his mother always taught the little boy to be humble. That family's life was perfect. Everyone loved each other and were very happy. Until, after nine years later, Peter started to come home late, and he was no longer the same. He didn't talk to Mariana properly and didn't even pay attention to her anymore. He seemed distant and very inattentive. The wife asked if something was wrong, but Peter always replied saying that he was just tired of working so much. The woman would understand and make some for her husband to sleep better, and it was like that for a long time. So, on a beautiful day, with pleasant weather and the bright sun, Mariana and her son Daniel went for a walk in the park. When they passed in front of the restaurant that was nearby, the woman was perplexed. Her husband was having lunch with a very beautiful woman, and they seemed to be flirting with each other. The woman ran her hand over the surgeon's arm in a very intimate way, causing Mariana to simply lose her ground. She waited for her husband to get home that night, and as soon as he went to bed, the wife started caressing him and saying that she wanted to enjoy their time together for a little bit. But Peter pushed her away and said he was very tired. But that's when Mariana snapped. Oh, tired, huh? Well, maybe you want to go rest with a stranger in a restaurant then. The surgeon looked at her scared and nervous and said, Don't be silly. I wasn't with anyone. He turned irritably to the side and said he was going to sleep. The wife was furious and they started to argue. The man then went to sleep on the couch, leaving the woman alone in the room. The next day, Mariana decided to go to the hospital where her husband worked to talk about the previous night. However, when she asked to see her husband, the receptionist said, Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am, but your husband is on vacation. It's been about two weeks. The woman didn't react and then realized that her husband's skin was a little tanned, and she concluded that he could only be going to the beach with his lover. She got even more furious. Later, when Peter arrived, Mariana immediately confronted him, shouting, You're lying to me, you bastard. I know very well that you're not even working. You're on vacation. You're going to the beach with that woman every day, aren't you? The husband tried to calm his wife down, but she was screaming and crying, until he decided to tell everything and confirm the woman's suspicions. It turns out that Peter was having an affair with Tiffany, a very beautiful young woman who was a nurse at the same hospital where he worked. Yes, you are right. I'm in love with her, and I don't love you anymore, said the husband leaving Mariana perplexed at Peter's coldness. The doctor also said that he wanted a divorce and that he would stay with Tiffany because she made him happy and he had found a new meaning for his life. But what about our son? Asked the wife, crying. How does he fit in that story? Our son will learn to deal with my absence, replied the man, with no expression of remorse on his face. Peter took some things and said he would leave the house. The woman, in tears, asked him to at least say goodbye to the son but the doctor simply ignored her and walked away. Mariana cried that night feeling a pain in her heart that she didn't know, the pain of betrayal. The next day, without even waiting, 
Peter came home with the divorce papers in hand and asked his wife to sign. The two argued a lot, and in a moment of anger, Mariana took the papers and signed everything without even reading it. Done. Now you can live with that witch in peace. Get away from me. I never want to see you again, said the poor woman crying. However, a week later, when Mariana came home with her son after work, she was horrified to see all her things outside the house and some people in suits in the entranceway. She discovered that, among those divorce papers, Peter had put a contract for the sale of the property and that she had signed without even knowing. She started to protest, but there was no way they would let her go inside the house. The poor woman was desolate. She fell on her knees and began to cry. At that moment, Will, Peter's friend, who also worked at the same hospital, was passing by Mariana's house and saw the whole scene. When he found out what happened, he was furious with his friend. He picked them up and took them to his house. A few days later, the good man helped the mother and son move into a small apartment. She started working more so that she could make a good living for her son Daniel and took extra shifts on the weekends. On a Saturday, Mariana needed to go to work and had no one to leave her son with. The boy, who was already nine years old, told his mother that he knew how to take care of himself and that she could go to work. The mother, very proud of her boy, kissed him on the forehead and left. But later, the boy started to feel a sore throat and, as he knew the way to the hospital where his father worked, he went there. He was waiting for his father for a few minutes at the reception until an arrogant woman arrived and grabbed his little arm. It was Tiffany who said angrily, Get out of here, you imbecile kid. Your father is now my husband, and my children are his children. You are nobody. Get out of here. The boy was horrified and looked at his father, who was close behind. But when he asked for help, the bastard shouted, Get out, kid. I don't want to see you or your mother again. Come on, get out. The poor boy started to cry, and everyone in the hospital looked on and did nothing. Until Will came running and was disgusted with Pedro's attitude. Are you an idiot, Peter? He is your son, said the furious doctor. But Peter told Will not to interfere, because it was none of his business. And he even said he was a renowned surgeon and not some low-class pediatrician like him. Will cursed the bastard, took the little boy's hand and led him home. The poor little boy, sobbing and with his little eyes full of tears, said, Thank you, uncle. You are very good. Will's heart ached, and he felt a great affection for the boy. When Mariana arrived at the apartment, she called for Daniel, but he didn't answer. She started looking for him all over the house, and then she got desperate. However, she heard the door opening and ran towards her son, who was in tears. The boy and Will told her everything. Daniel was devastated. It was hard for the mother to see her son suffering. Mariana was worried because now the boy had a fever, and she was filled with hatred for her ex-husband's negligence. She was ready to go to her ex-husband and make a scene in front of the hospital, but Will hugged her and calmed her down. The poor woman cried in his arms, and the doctor felt very sorry for what they were going through. Since Will was a pediatrician, he examined the boy. He saw that it was just a cold and prescribed some medicine. A few days later, Will ran into Peter and talked about how he was being an awful person to Mariana and Daniel, and asked him how he could have been so neglectful with his own son that day. Peter, irritated, cursed him and said that the pediatrician was jealous of his new wife and his successful life. But Will went on to say that Tiffany was a gold digger and that when he needs her most, he would see what a traitor she really was and that she and her children would be his downfall. Everyone around looked at Peter with an air of disapproval and indignation, making the man even more irritated and started cursing and left in disgust. As time went by, the relationship between the surgeon and the nurse began to bother the other employees a lot. No one could stand them anymore and it became uncomfortable for the two to continue working in that hospital. So, they tried to ask for a transfer, and as Peter was very influential, they managed to move to a very chic and prestigious hospital in another city. Will began to visit Mariana and their son very often after that episode, offering his assistance. That's when he and Mariana became great friends. The pediatrician told his story that he was also abandoned by his father as a child, so he knew what it was like to grow up with that pain. The two became very close, and after a while, they fell in love. A year and a half later, they got married. With a lot of effort and spending all his savings, Will bought the mansion where Mariana lived with his son and gave it to his wife as a gift. The woman was very happy and moved by her husband's attitude. 
because Daniel had been born in that house and had great memories of his little boy there. Now Mariana and Will would make new memories in that place. Two months later, the pharmacist became pregnant and soon gave birth to Gabriel. The pediatrician was very moved by the birth of his son and said that he now had two children, as he loved his stepson as if he were his own. Daniel also loved Will as if he were his real father, and so Mariana was complete and happy again. Many years later, Gabriel's 17th birthday arrived. All four still lived together and made a special lunch just between them for the boy. Daniel, at that time, was already 29 years old and had followed in his father's footsteps and become a pediatrician. He loved his profession and admired his father who was a very kind man. Gabriel was also studying to get into med school, but he wanted to be an ophthalmologist. Far away in another city, Peter still worked as a surgeon and was still very influential and respected. He had sent his two stepchildren to study in Switzerland and supported their pampered life, and Tiffany was spending her husband's money left and right. The surgeon lived very well, but he had no idea what was to come. One day, Peter had argued with his wife about the situation of their stepchildren who didn't want to do absolutely anything with their lives. They fought so much that day that the doctor went out drinking, and when he got an alert at the hospital, he went to work drunk and irritable. And when he was in surgery, he ended up making a very serious mistake. He cut the patient's artery, which led to his death. As it was Frederick Muniz, the state deputy, the news spread, and everyone learned that the renowned surgeon was responsible for the politician's death. That ended his career, as it was proven Peter's incompetence and negligence. Peter was fired and ended up losing his license. He was criticized by the media for a long time, and after they discovered his betrayal towards Mariana years before, caused his life to go break in pieces. As soon as she found out about all the problems involving her husband, Tiffany simply abandoned him. She sold the house without her husband knowing, took all the money from the sale and the savings that the doctor had kept and left for Switzerland to live with her children, leaving him completely bankrupt. Peter tasted his own poison. He was alone and totally devastated, with nowhere to go. At that moment, the bastard missed Mariana and Daniel, so he decided to look for them to ask for their forgiveness and try to rebuild his family. The deluded man believed that Mariana still loved him and that she was still waiting for him. He managed to find out where the ex-wife lived and was surprised to learn that she had returned to the mansion. He was happy because he knew he would live in a comfortable and luxurious home again. So with the little money left in his wallet, he took a bus to his old town and ran to the mansion. Meanwhile, Mariana and her family were at home celebrating Gabriel's 17th birthday. Until the bell rang and the boy answered, Gabriel knew the whole story of his mother and brother. He knew how they had been abandoned and how they had suffered until their father Will came into their lives. But the boy didn't know what the surgeon looked like. So when he opened the door and saw Peter all flustered and out of breath, he just said, Good afternoon, sir. May I help you? Peter asked about his ex-wife. Good afternoon, young man. I would like to know if Mariana still lives here. Yes, she does. She is my mother, replied the young man, making Peter confused. You're her son? Are you adopted by any chance? Said the man in a very rude way. But Gabriel, who was very polite, replied no, that he was her biological son, and asked who wanted to talk to her. At that moment, Peter thought that maybe Mariana was pregnant when they separated and that that boy could be his son. So he started talking to the young man, and when he said he was a doctor, the young man, smiling, said that his father Will was too. Peter couldn't believe it. Will? William, my friend? It can't be, he thought. So he asked about Will and Mariana, and the boy told briefly about their stories. How his father stayed with his mother after she and her brother Daniel were cruelly abandoned by her cretinous ex-husband, and how the two were happy until today. Immediately, Pedro shouted, No, I did not abandon them, which made the boy step back and glare at him before saying, So, you're the bastard who abandoned my mother and brother? I see that you are quite miserable. My parents told me about you. What a coward, liar, and unfaithful man you are. Watch your mouth, you brat. Call your mother now. I want to talk to her. Peter said angrily. She'll never see you again, you bastard! Get out of our house! Shouted the boy and closed the door. But Peter put his arm inside, blocking the door. Then he started screaming for Mariana. Soon, the woman, Will and Daniel, arrived running when they heard all that shouting, and when they saw Peter, they were stunned. What are you doing in my house? Said Will angrily. 
This is my house, and this is my wife, William. How could you sleep with my wife? Shouted Peter. You stole them from me, you bastard! You who abandoned them, get the hell off my property! Will yelled. Pedro turned to his ex-wife and pleaded. I came back for you and our son, love, and you betrayed me and got pregnant with another man's child. But I forgive you. Come with me and leave these two. Before the bastard could continue talking nonsense, Mariana simply slapped the bastard right in the middle of the face. Get out of my house and my life, you miserable man. Go away or I'll call the police. Go to hell, bastard, shouted Mariana, possessed with anger. So Peter tried to deceive his son. Son, it's me, your father. Will is my father. You're nothing to me and I don't want to see you ever again. Daniel answered furiously and with tears in his eyes. They slammed the door in the man's face and he left deeply regretful. Sometime later, in order not to leave Peter destitute, Daniel got him a job as a cleaner at the hospital where he worked, but he said that they would never reconnect again. Daniel never said a word to him and completely ignored him. When the boy won an award for being a great pediatrician, his speech honoring his father Will, who was the one who inspired him, moved everyone, and Peter had to watch, from the back, his only son called another man father. Daniel got married, and Peter was not invited. Then he had three children, and the cleaner was never able to have contact with his grandchildren. Regret came too late. Abandoned, he suffered bitterly and never forgave himself for what he did to the only people who ever loved him. If you like the story, surely the next video that's appearing on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. A huge kiss, and see you in the next story.